The past few years have seen an explosion in the different types of synthesis that are available to people in software and in hardware. And there's been a lot of new types of synthesis that have been created. It's not just subtractive and FM anymore. We have lots of different takes on wave shaping and wave slicing and wave folding. And uh, we also have wavetable synthesis that has really taken on a new edge. Newfangled's new synthesizers, Generate and Pendulate, both rely on a novel form of sound generation, and it's called a chaos generator. And so it uses a sort of physical model of uh, interacting bodies to create oscillation. It has a sophisticated wave shaper and overdrive to give it more character. And then it has a bucle style low pass gate that allows you to filter and uh, shape the sound with a sort of subtractive type influence. And of course, there's lots of modulators. Generate, which is the paid version, has uh, polyphonic capabilities, and it also has a lot more modulators. But Pendulate gives you a lot of rich textures that you can get even out of a monophonic source. And of course, you can gang these up and create your own sort of polyphonic version of it. They both look really amazing. And so we'll also take a look at some of that. But what we really want to do is figure out how do we set these up to work with MPE so we can get that per note expression and get a lot of modulation from our fingertips as well as per note editing in your DAW. In Bitwig Studio, when you add the Generate or Pendulate plugin from Newfangled Audio, you'll want to make sure that it is enabled for MPE in the DAW. So click on the device, then turn MPE on. Then within the plugin itself, you'll be able to enable MPE at the top with the MPE option. In Ableton Live 11, when you load your plugins, you'll want to make sure that it recognizes it as MPE. In Pendulate's case, it currently is not, so we'll want to right-click and enable MPE mode. Then we can proceed to the plugin and enable MPE within it. Now that we have Generate and Pendulate working in our DAW, and we have MPE enabled here at the top, we can start trying out Generate with our controllers. Uh, very nice feature is that the presets, and there's a lot of them, uh, there's actually a special section that uh, includes MPE. So if you just want to start getting to know some of the capabilities, you can try out some of these different presets and start to modify them. Uh, for example, this one uh, just uses the timbre modifier to uh, influence the drive. And one other thing you'll notice is some of the animation uh, that happens on each parameter. As I move up and down on the key, you'll see that there's a slight uh, change in color over this drive where we're patched in. From here, because there's not too much modulation in this patch, we can start to explore a little bit. So for example, I can take the pressure and uh, just click on that. And now I can add a uh, pressure modulator to really any of these things up here at the top. Uh, whether it's the generator of the sound, the wave folder, which then distorts that primary source in interesting ways, or the low-pass gate, which adds an amplitude envelope, a filter envelope, and a filter, sort of all in one. It's uh, influenced by Don Buchla's designs on some of his uh, synthesizers. So a nice thing to do here is uh, attach pressure to the chaos amount, and we can try with the full amount and see what happens. And because the, it, we're using the discharge, there's several different kinds of generators. Discharge tends to have kind of a noisy effect. Um, and it's maybe a little bit dramatic. The thing I like to do is just sort of press down as hard as possible and then dial back to the maximum that I want. And that way we can play pretty cleanly. But we can also build in some dirt and grit when we want to with the pressure. And from there, you can kind of see how you can very easily build these things up. Now, there's some things to notice about the interface. Um, be, besides, you know, we have our patch points for our different modulators here in the middle. And our MPE here is pressure and timbre and velocity that is available per voice. Um, when you go to the settings tab up here, you can sort of show, show and hide things in the interface. For example, 
Uh, you can make the cables uh, disappear when you're not uh, moused over them. And that way you can just sort of focus on a particular modulator and where it's being patched. Um, I kind of like to show them always. It just is a little bit more like um, another MPE capable software, Alto, that I like to use a lot. And uh, show controls seems maybe a little bit obvious, um, but when you turn them off, you wonder, uh, hey, where's all my... Uh, patch points and everything in my parameters well who cares because it looks really awesome and you can actually sort of design your sounds in a visual way with this it's kind of an interesting thing that i think is like uh interesting to try to design things that are uh visually pleasing as well as uh sonically pleasing and you'll arrive at a different place than you might otherwise um, and then, of course, you can hide those visualizations if you find them too distracting when you are actually patching things up. Rendering can be done in OpenGL, which can uh, sort of save your CPU if your computer can handle it. Um, beyond that, uh, there's preset management to compare uh, for your uh, changes in your from the preset. And, uh, and then info will take you to the guide. Another really cool feature about... Uh, generate and pendulate is the random. Um, the random is not completely random. It actually has some really nice uh, restrictions built in. So it really does take you to some really nice places um, and give you some really good starting points. And you can see it also patches a lot of things. It affects it changes the effects um, and it kind of adds different LFOs and things like that. So it's very complete in what it will patch. Um, and it can actually give you some really good results uh, just by pressing it a few times. And you can even see it adds some MPE, uh, which is quite unique. Um, another thing to notice that the effects um, cannot be patched in with the modulators. Uh, these are independent, um, which is a little bit disappointing, I suppose, to be editorial. Um, and, you know, of course, the limiter, you don't really want that to be MPE, probably. Um, but, you know, because this is a plug-in and uh, things are getting more advanced in the DAW world, so, for example, in Bitwig, it's very easy to add an effect that you can control, uh, perhaps not per voice, but at least use your, per your finger controls um, by adding an expressions modulator and then, for example... Um, just mapping the timbre to the delay mix. And uh, let's go ahead and make it quite obvious what happens here. And so that way you can actually mix in some effects with your plane. And um, other things about Generate is that, you know, overall it's really quite simple conceptually. You have your generator, your distortion, and then your sort of sound shaper things really become lively because these different generators have uh, a lot of motion inherent in them. Uh, they're based on uh, sort of physical processes and sort of uh, the chaos that results from moving bodies, connected moving bodies, for example. Um, that is the particularly with the double pendulum. And, and then you have uh, just sort of a distortion uh, process that's going to sort of tweak that out a little bit further. And then you have kind of, you don't have a big selection of filters and things like that. You really just have this low pass gate that gives you your amplitude envelope and your filter envelope and your filter. So you really um, focus not so much on the subtractive things, but you focus more on the generation. And that's a very sort of uh, Buchla, West Coast synthesis type of approach to uh, sound design. And uh, the pendulum, taking a look at the sort of the free version, Pendulate, um, this is very similar in its layout. Uh, it's just more reduced. It has a, it's just a, a mono synth, uh, but it does respond to MPE gestures. Um, and then you really you only have one generator, the double pendulum. And uh, then from there, it's uh, a lot simpler. There's no effects chain here, so you'll have to rely on the effects in your DAW. Um, but it is free, and you can also you can get some really amazing textures from uh, from Pendulate, and really start to get to to know 
um, how how this type of approach to synthesis can really create some very interesting sounds and visuals. So we look forward to hearing uh, what you create with Pendulate and Generate. Um, and that is how you get MPE rolling and start designing with your fingers and your controllers.